Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to X-Plane 11. I've been having a really good time flying uh, these routes for you and uh, thank you for the support in this series. I hope we get more people in as we go but uh, for now I think we're in a very good place. Thank you for all the support. Keep them coming and hope that we learn many things along the way without uh, too much catastrophe. <laughs> anyway, so I really like that previous one where we had the uh, go at it, in San Francisco, we took a look at the Golden Gate Bridge in the previous episode. This time we are in a completely different state. We are in Florida. And specifically, we are at Fort Lauderdale. And we will be making our way south, southwest to Miami International Airport. So if we look at the route here, we'll be coming from KFXE, Fort Lauderdale Executive, and we'll make our way to Miami here on the south. Although I do want to make use of a bit of waypoint system, but uh, Tadius has been teaching me a little bit about it, but I've been having a hard time understanding, as is the case. So normally you wouldn't, like, real flights wouldn't normally be just a straight line like that. You would be going through several points. And if you try to mimic something like that, maybe that can work. Okay, that's a waypoint. Kusep is a waypoint. So if we, like, plan that along our route, then that will be included, yeah? And we can find some similar icons like those. Some of them I can't really see, but if I like drag it here, you'll see that there's a, actually a waypoint called Tolls there, which is invisible to me, but I'm not sure how it sees that. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But I think we can do that. We can travel on the, the coast here, have a nice view on our right. We can avoid the the mountainous areas and i've been trying to read up a bit on the vfr charts what we've been doing so far i just realized is a vfr flying visual flight rules flying where you have good visibility and you can rely on your eyes and not on your instruments for flying and when you're traveling at a quite low altitudes so we'll do that we'll try that a bit more uh, professional approach we can say they can also let's see just do trial and error here. Yeah, that one works actually. Because that will land us perfectly along the parallel lines of the runway. You can see the runway direction there. Although the question is, depending on the air traffic controller, the ATC, might depend which runway they make us use. And also depending on the wind. If you look at this one, there's a lot of text with, below the weather station text. There's KMIA 0500. Uh, 53Z. Now I have still a hard time trying to remember that, but I do remember this point. This 25008KT, that means the wind is coming from 250 heading at 08 knots. So normally we would be getting a uh, runway that is similar to that number. So that means we are doing a headwind as much as possible. And I think that's perfect because these runways here. These are probably 27 or 25, something like that. So that's perfect. So I think this kind of waypoint will work with us. Let's try that, all right? Let's try that. So it's KFXE to KMIA, and then with these three, I think I can copy that and just paste it. Paste it on the flight plan. We'll try it out. Okay, let's go back to explain. I did the walk around checks already, the pre flight checks. So we save a bit of time. Now we can accept the job. Start the flight. There we go. Three passengers going to KMIA, coming from KFXE. We do have a bit of uh, heavy uh, payload here if you look at the mass here. More than half of our fuel tanks are filled, but that's fine. That's fine. And let's put here, let's simulate that. Let's go do it like this. Oh crap. Yeah, so th actually that doesn't work sometimes. Maybe it's too realistic because I think the stats here are a bit different from the stats in FS Economy. So FS Economy is saying, yeah, you can handle three passengers, like if you look here. So uh, they say here the total flight, yeah, 308 kilograms, you have 37 kilograms available still. But if you plot the same thing, 
on in here it's not so there's a bit of desync with the calculations i'm not sure which one is more accurate i'm guessing this one but we need to take in three passengers so we'll need to simulate this somehow and i guess we do that by doing that <laughs> Let's let's pretend that the okay. Let's maybe try to make them lighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll we're taking ladies with us. So that's me, and then there are three ladies we're taking with us. So they're they're lighter, and we can uh, that may, will make more sense. So once I apply this, the changes should uh, reflect with the difference in suspension here. The plane should bounce a bit, or not? I don't know. But there we go. You saw the plane bounce a bit behind the scenes. Not very visible, but you get the point. Good. All right. So, so before anything else, let us start the plane. Open the beacons, batteries, throttle, increase it by a bit. Make the mixture full, rich. Turn on the fuel pump to load up some fuel. That's increasing there, the fuel flow. All right, turn it off, push, push it back. And now we can turn on the engine. Good. All right, turn on the alternator so that the battery charges. Directional gyro, align that, good. And uh, now we can turn on the avionics. There we go. Let's file our flight plan from KFXE to KMIA, right? I think so. And I have to make sure to paste that route so that we know that it's uh, in line. Now the altitude, that is a good question. What should we put in here? What should we put in here, guys? Now I'm trying to look at the... So yellow is congested area, from what I've learned. Um, and in congested areas, you have to be like a thousand feet above the highest point within a certain amount of radius from where you are. But I'm, I'm just looking at it, eyeballing this. The highest I see is 1,049 feet. So if you go 1,000 up, that's 2,000. And then there are some visual flight rules that, are, that I've seen. I think you have to be at around... Um, what does it say? So when you're heading southwest, has to be an even number. If you're heading like more than a uh, one hundred eighty degrees, it has to be an even number, and then add five hundred. So for us, it's two thousand five hundred. I'm just not sure if that qualifies us because that's changing this is 113 this is 188 degrees so i'm not sure but we're going to stick with 2500 right and if you have more details on that then you let me know so we can correct that but okay good and then we paste the route is that is that how it goes wait a minute optional route with okay all right so they so just paste it like that i wonder if that worked i've never tried that before we will see sky Sierra, All right, let's Fort get the altimeter. altimeter two, nine, nine, six. So we are sure that we have the right altitude that we're looking at here, 2996. Let's read that back. Fort Lauderdale Executive, altimeter 2996, Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa. 2996 is that guy. We are exactly at zero. Well, almost. Mean sea level, MSL. Now, if we compare that with the map where we are, we can look at KFXE and say, not that one, details, 13 feet means sea level. Okay, there you go. Close enough, I guess. Okay, let's adjust that a bit more. How about that? Maybe that works. Yes? Okay, let's take that. <laughs> Alright, good. Sky Request clearance. Two, Sierra, Papa, clear oh, two, come on. Miami International. Okay. Maintain 3,000. Squawk 4701. 4701, that's it. Let's oh, turn on our transponder. Read that back. Doesn't, didn't follow the 2-5 though. Once whole numbers. Four, seven, zero, one. 
Skyhawk 2 Sierra Hawk. And looks like the weather is not that good that it actually cleared me for IFR, not EFR, but who cares? We'll still see some stuff. Skyhawk. Quest taxi. Sierra, Papa, runway, three, one, taxi via Foxtrot, nine, Foxtrot, three, Delta, Charlie, y'all, hold short of runway, two, seven. That's a lot. Good thing there's runway, there are direction, three, one, taxi, directional taxi, arrows to help us. Nine, Foxtrot, three, Delta, Charlie, Turn on the lights. Hold short of runway, two, seven, Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. Okay. It's taxi. I was trying to uh, play with my. G27 pedals the other day trying to make them as my rudder I found an app which can do that but it's not quite smooth so ideally normally in this kind of plane at least your rudders so the turning left and right here of the plane on the ground that is controlled by rudder pedals so they actually step so for example yeah, if you look there that the the pedals are working to the, pressing on the right to turn the plane right like this and that's normally how it goes but I don't have pedals I do have uh, I don't have rudder pedals I do have steering wheel pedals from my G27 so I tried that but it's a bit uneven it's a bit unnatural because the the gas and clutch have different levels so it's a bit weird feeling yeah the, the side effect of this one though is get very weird braking if you don't have those pedals in and those rudder pedals are quite uh, detailed because they can actually they actually serve as turning for turning and braking depending on which part of the pedal you step on at the bottom or at the top Skyhawk 2 Sierra Papa contact tower on 120.90 let's enable the parking brake here get some minimal revs because if we have two low revs here, the spark plugs will foul. I'm still looking for the way on how to brake gradually using my current limitations without the rudder pedals and stuff. I do have the smooth brakes enabled from RAP, but that's smoother already than the more abrupt braking. You can see it didn't make much sense it's not too smooth alright we're crossing the runway let's make our way there then make sure that there is no one crossing no one taking off, no one landing. Yeah, we're good, I think. Sometimes the ATC makes a mess. I had a flight like yesterday. I was taxiing, so like this, and suddenly there is this humongous KLM737 in front of me going the opposite way. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? And of course, because he was bigger, it's like, okay, you, you go first, you have right of way. <laughs> it's a bit scary, I'll be honest. It's like facing a train head on. Slow down, maybe. So see here, the brakes will be so abrupt. Ooh. Right, super abrupt. It's abrupt, and it's still not enough. And now my rudder is completely out of control. So yeah, I'm still trying to learn how to properly taxi. Interestingly enough, it's quite hard. Right now, I'm using the yaw of my joystick to turn left and right. It's not the best, but it's uh, not bad. I guess it just takes some getting used to. U.S. Customs. Ooh. Let's make sure we don't. Uh, we're not bringing any bad stuff with us. If you get what I mean. This plane is. Whenever I see this plane, it reminds me of the Narcos series in Netflix, because the planes seem to look like that. You know, this is very like. Narcos friendly. Oh, look Skyhawk at all those planes. Two, Sierra, Papa, fly heading, three, two, zero, runway, three, one. You're clear for takeoff. We are clear for takeoff. We do have we do have to do some more checks though before that. So I think let's stop here. Uh, 
also my throttle is not in the best place there's that indent that I really hate but fine let's go to 1800 let's do our Star magnetos two, check Sierra, Papa, oh heading. my bad three, two, zero, runway, three, one. You're clear for takeoff. maybe we respond first before we do anything else Check the magnetos. Um, I currently at 1700. I wanted 1800. Okay, on sec. There you go. Left magneto. Okay, that's around the what? 50 RPM drop. 100 RPM drop should be within range, I think. Same for the right side. Good. I think we're good. Let's make that mixture rich. Let's make it perfect for takeoff. All right. Now, would we be lucky enough to get a windsock or something so I can see where the wind direction is? So before we speed up here, I can try to align myself, not mess it up so much. And I completely forgot to file my flight plan on my GPS. So we're flying a bit blind. We are going to rely on our guy. Um, maybe I'll do that during the flight, which is not ideal, but it can work. Okay. Let's take off here. Balancing it a bit with my rudder. Hopefully didn't forget anything. There we go. Climb, climb, baby, climb. There we are. Perfect. I do want to maintain that same heading from the airport. I think it's around 310. And I change, maybe I climb up a little so that we have around uh, 70 knots, 75 knots. I think that's around the perfect rate of climb for this plane. So let me increase that a bit more. Let me trim this a bit to help me out here. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, contact center on 1, 3, there you two, go. Point two, five. Contact center on 1, 3, two, point They did two, say... Five. They wanted us to go 3,000 feet, so let's follow that. Yeah, that one I know. It's fine. Two one zero. Okay. It's quite a different flight plan than what we did. Yeah, heading there. That's the plan. Where does this guy want us to go? I wonder. Goodness, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? That's 2210 heading. We're still good. I still haven't enabled autopilot. I do want to hand fly this for now. Get a bit more feel on where we're going. And I think I'll slow down a bit. There you go. That's just a bit of trim there. Why am I falling? Maybe not enough trim. There. So he wants us to head 210. And I think I'm a bit too steep now because we're actually falling in airspeed. Should be that way. Yeah, that should be good. So 210. Yeah. It's quite different, so I don't think he followed the flight plan I entered. Maybe I entered the wrong one. Alright, fine. Oh, do, 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 do. 210. Stick to 210. That's the problem without autopilot. You have to really make sure that everything is working. 
everything is on the right heading right altitude right airspeed and everything all by yourself on top of seeing if you're really going where you want to go that's why having an autopilot is such a relief so i think we'll keep that there let's trim a little down i think it's getting harder and harder to climb so let's add that to our flight plan let's remove this guy uh, let's look for nearest airports i think that should work uh -huh. maybe that will be easier nearest airports let's see kmia come on distance there we go kmia so what we can do here is we can simply go and click that one activate so that will be our next waypoint going directly to kmia and i think that's what our guy is doing anyway does it's not go, allowing us to go in through those waypoints so i might have done something wrong with the waypoint stuff you guys let me know okay all right but uh, that's set now so at least we can do some sightseeing relax maybe see some beaches over there oh, it's a bit far the beaches though okay and we are almost at 3,000 feet so I can start maybe slowing down the ascent start leveling off bit by bit here maybe okay wait for the airspeed to pick up and then I and then I will dial down on the throttle There you go. I'm trying to keep this manual. I'm trying to do something like make sure that I can fly the plane without autopilot, even if it's a bit more of a hassle. Yeah, might not be ideal, but it's trying it. Okay, I'm trying to make the mixture more lean. So we're saving a bit more fuel you can see the fuel flow falling bit by bit because i am leaning the mixture i'm looking for that peak egt that peak exhaust gas temperature so we have the most eco friendly setting given our current setup right here okay that is still climbing there egt is still climbing so i'm still leaning the mixture okay and i think that's the peak okay there you go that should be the one perfect so now i think what i can do is i can trim this until we get a straight and level flight without the need for autopilot and that will be an accomplishment for me because i've been ne never been good at the stability thing i've always been a bit finicky both in real life <laughs> and here in explain okay if i let go of the throttle where does it go it still goes up so let's trim it down more 737 to 806, November, okay November, zero, now i one, think we're zero, falling so that's a two, bit six, right, too seven, much eight, now come on work with me here there you go that's what i was looking for November, November. Now there is a very subtle bang to the left if I let go of the throttle. It's just banking to the left somehow. I'm not sure if that's because of the, the type of engine we have. A lot of technicalities, lots of debate on that, but I think more or less we are flying straight in level. Aren't we? So now we can finally look outside. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. I think it's time to take a photo, guys. Isn't it? Time to take a photo. Now, visibility isn't the best. There's a bit of fog. But I mean, that's not half bad, is it? It's not half bad. The only thing now is trying to look for a nice angle. Can we do like a dramatic shot? How do you do that anyway? not very well versed with planes at the moment so what i can do 
is if because we're taking a photo I can set max quality here this will uh, tone down the FPS but max out the settings I think that's the plan right max quality and then we get the the best quality at the price of FPS but because we're taking a photo here it's not going to be a bad scenario at all okay let's take a photo there let's take one from oh, that actually looks pretty nice huh too bad we could not could not explore the beaches more i think i screwed up the flight path the flight plan let's take one more there and we should be good to go okay let me bring that back to auto I am actually veering off the heading here. Okay, that's good. Keep that there. Now I do want to listen. Check how the weather is going. So let me see. If I look at the map, these guys are quite noisy, though, aren't they? KMIA details: three feet mean sea level. That's the wind. Two six zero at eight knots. So they're probably going to lead uh, us on the. Which runways are available here? So if the wind is coming from 260, let me turn off COM1 so it's not too noisy. <laughs> if the wind is coming from 260 and the runways available are here, that's the closest one, 27. So I'm guessing that's where they'll assign us 27 or 26 L or R. We'll see what the ATC does, but that's mostly likely the case. Most likely the case. Okay, let's turn on COM1 again. I hope I didn't miss a, any message. There was a time I did that. I turned off COM1 and apparently they were trying to hail me or contact me and I was not responding. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. No autopilot yet at the moment. Doing fine here. I was thinking if I was going to do Q&A, but I think it's a bit of a too short flight for Q&A. So I think we'll keep it as is. We'll see. Maybe I can turn off the ETC though. And just file it later when we're about to land. Let's see. No, no, I'm going to try something, okay? So I'm going to bet. What I'll do... Turn that off. What I'll do is I'll try to uh, um, plan the approach as well. Include the approach here in the GPS. So that's this uh, this button, Procedures. Select Approach and that automatically picks the, the final destination, I think, that is plotted on the flight plan. So KMIA, that's the one. And then you have a couple of approaches here. That's depending on which runway. I'm going to bet that we are going to use 27 because that's closest to the the uh, wind direction headwind so i'm going to pick ils 27 i'm going to say vectors i think that means from where we are and then activate to enable it immediately and that's it so if now if we look at the flight plan that looks completely different now instead of flying straight through that tells us actually to head that way if i zoom in maybe i can clear some clutter that one yeah that's the flight plan so it tells us we're coming should be coming from this side facing that way like uh, what direction is that 270 that should be the direction overall direction we're headed so i'm going to wait for the atc now to tell us that or i can do that on my own tell them to contradict me otherwise i think also if i take gps here yeah, that will align to where that uh, waypoint is in the, according to where my heading should be. There we go. We're being healed. There we go. Let's acknowledge that. Let's 
start the send. 090. I know, I know. And I should be slowing down so we don't tax the engine so much. Up, oh, up, oh. go down, go down. Trim it. Help me out a bit here. There we go. Going dangerously fast there. Lower the revs and uh, even out like so. Now we're facing the beach. Now we might be able to see some nice sceneries. It's a bit foggy though. Not as clear as I would have liked. I think we can descend steeper than that safely. So we can just slow down. That's a bit too steep, I think. How about that? Yeah, I think that's good enough. Descending a thousand feet shouldn't be a problem. What is the safe uh, descent of vertical speed? 800 feet? Is that... Or 1000 feet? Is that fine? Or will that feel like a roller coaster already? Like if I do it like this? Alright, we're almost there. Start to even it out. So if you look at the the GPS now, the flight controller, their traffic control actually has uh, done a good job so far. So now we are traveling at uh, a parallel direction, although the opposite direction, on how the runway is facing. Assuming it's going to be 2-7. So this is, I think, what they call the downwind approach. Did I get that right? And then as we turn right, that will be the base approach. And then as we turn right, facing the runway, that will be the final approach. Something like that. Still trying to stabilize my approach here. November, November, fly ahead, two, four, zero. Going a bit slow, so let me throttle up again. Let me try to keep that 090 heading, heading east fully. There we go, and maybe yes, even at a 2000, and then start to descend or at least stay. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. Actually, reminds me of Singapore a bit from up, up here. November, fly heading 270, report the field site. Fly heading 270, report the field site 737. Okay, let's level it off. November, there we go. <clears throat> November, November. Also, pretty soon, probably on the stream, I'll try to start to experiment with other setups, maybe different planes. Maybe try what they call like two engines then. Right now we're handling one engine. I wonder how it feels like having two engines. And maybe or maybe at the very least switch to the G1000. Was it G1000? The, the GPS, the, the glass cockpit. Straight and level, straight and level, please. Navigation three. These, are, these guys are quite noisy. What do you guys think about that? Because I can disable that in a way that I disable the AI planes so that the air traffic control isn't talking to anyone else but us. Which what guys do you prefer? Like that realistic thing or us like playing single player? Because it's quite nice as well seeing other planes but it can get quite noisy with the air traffic control. Or we can just avoid interacting with the air traffic control totally. You guys think? So I'm just trying to balance my 
Until now, I still haven't flown straight and level. Okay, there we go. 180, let's acknowledge that. Spank right bit by bit, you can see that it's actually on point on the approach. You can see the first waypoint is uh, right there on our right side. If you look at the flight plan, the GPS rather. And that is actually perfect. That is where we are headed, straight to that waypoint. Maybe I can make it a little bit more abrupt. The banking is a bit slow. It's a bit too dramatic. Yeah, that one is good angle. Thank you. Alright. And let's level off here. Welcome to Miami. Speed is a bit too much, I think. Start to lower down here. I think I should be slowing down. Let's have a look outside first though before we do anything else. Some sightseeing. Some buildings here and there. Lots of peaches. Why not? Ooh, why am I going so fast? And why am I headed the wrong heading? Okay, let me trim properly here. I think I want to slow down already. Start slowing down. It might scold me if I try to go below 2,000 though. Not really sure how he wants that. But if I look at the GPS, actually the altitude is just right on the same level. I think it's expecting me to be still at 2,000 here. So I think I'll keep that for now. Trim it please. I still have a hard time with the trim. It's a bit hard to... Yeah, look at that. He's uh, scolding me now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's fine. So at least we're slowing down. We are lining ourselves up so that it's easy to open our flaps. Not be too much. But speed when that is needed, when the flaps are needed. Because if I understood it correctly, the flap should be opened only within this wide range, so 90 knots. Although I've been hearing some people saying at like 110 knots it should be fine, but I don't know why because there is no indication of that here. I always thought this white range was the, on, the only safe uh, spot for the flaps opening. So if you guys have any more info on that, you let me know, okay? There you go. Okay. Sorry, it's a bit uh, wobbly. This is why autopilot is good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's let the trim do its work. Or not. Okay, now we're at 2000. Good. Now we are approaching the waypoints. Let's actually close that. Get a little bit of close up in there. Get an idea of how that works. How close that is. Only water here. There's where the action is. And now I think I can level off here. There you go. There we go, straight and level again. After, I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> but we're flying without autopilot at all, so I guess I should be proud of that. Thank you. Gotcha. 240. Um, it's not exactly making me face the the waypoint though. Should I follow ATC or should I follow the approach? I'll follow the guy. Because he probably told me which runway he wants me but I didn't listen a while ago. Usually they tell that ahead of time but I forgot to listen. My bad. And I am flying more than... 2,000 feet now, so I have to descend just a bit. 
we see the runway? I guess runway is over there somewhere. Runway is over... Over somewhere. I don't see it yet, to be honest. Descent, please. that descent. I think we're skipping some waypoints here. We're not exactly taking that one. But that's fine. OMG. Yeah, I thought this would be a, like a very fast flight, but yeah, with all the maneuvering, it's never as straightforward as that. This is only like 24 nautical miles. Still it takes time, although that is one is to one scale, so that is completely understandable. Lower the revs please, we don't want so much. And we are falling now, my bad. Let's keep it there. Let's keep it there. 240, yeah, I'm following the guy. Let's try and see. If the CH, what do you call that? That guy is better. Let's activate that leg. Let's see if that uh, the ATC will be more fit for that. No, 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 no. I'm falling below 2000 again. Skyhawk, two, I know, I know. Man. Flying without autopilot is hard, huh? For VFR, it's probably fine. But adhering to these strict headings and rules is a bit difficult. There we go. 270. Heading west fully. Do you guys see it? Still wants me to climb 2000. Report field in sight. Do we? Do we see it really? Do you guys see it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Which runway are we taking anyway? That one or that one? 26R, okay. Gotcha. Let's check in with the controller. Let me actually slow down here. I think I want my flaps open soon. And actually, I would want to get the ILS there. That's 26R. Right? 26L, 26R. Let's tune that in nav 1. Does that make sense? If I do that. Um, okay, I think that works. Is that the LS that I just trapped? I hope so. It did look a bit different though. The letters were a bit different. Okay, I'm trying to head that same heading there. So this one is wrong because that is a, this is uh, the GPS is actually telling us the approach to 27 runway. It should be 26R. We're heading. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. One mile, one nautical mile to go. Where is the runway? That's the runway, I think. I see the lights. Yeah, that's the one. Let's line up there properly. And it does say four red, so I think I'm too low. But that's fine. We'll uh, find the glide slope. The glide slope in a bit. We will be uh, meeting that guy shortly. I'm just being a bit cautious because usually my problem is I'm always a bit too high. I think I'm a bit too scared to touch down. Oh. 
Oh, some tiles are probably loading in. Getting that lag spike. Trim it, trim it properly. Okay. Even out here. Heading 270. And still I'm a bit low. It's a bit weird. Okay, I'm still a bit low, that's fine. We'll just uh, maintain this heading. Three, X -ray, Sierra, contact center on. Maybe you can speed up a little. Okay, my bad, because this is inaccurate. The GPS is inaccurate. That distance is actually tracking. Thank you, clear to land. So that distance is actually from the waypoint, not from the runway itself. So, fine. Flaps 1, maybe? Flaps 10, rather? Okay, there we go. I get one white now. We're close. We're close to the correct glide path, guys. Glide slope. Terminologies. And me. Don't mix too well. I'm very hard. I'm very bad at memorizing stuff. Let's trim a little. There we go. I think that's good. There we go. That's the perfect glide slope. Too white, too red on the papi lights. I think I should be slowing down a bit more now. And I can do that by... Flaps 20. Right. And then pitching down. We're a bit too high. Okay, we're not descending fast enough. That's fine. We can adjust. We can adjust. I think. So I will... Uh, Go to around 1500 RPM now. I think that should be okay. And then I will enable the last leg of flaps in a bit. Make sure I don't hit that FedEx plane. Yeah, that should be fine. Last minute. I will go with flaps okay that's the last level and now we are at 70 knots that should be more or less the landing speed I think more or less and now we don't rely on the happy lights at all because it's a bit too close to the runway now so now I think we are on our own Okay, cross the threshold soon. I think I'm actually landing a bit too fast here on the threshold. <laughs> a bit too early, a bit too early and a bit too long, a bit too hard. Let's uh, replay that a bit. Let's replay that a bit. Okay, at least I've gotten beyond my problem of landing to late now by being too high now i'm a bit on the low side so hopefully next time we kind of balance that a bit okay let's see how it is so i did the the flare the run out that is the the pitching up but i'm not sure if it was apparent so let's see so i down pitch up there you go pitch up Yeah, there you go. <laughs> one more time, one more time. It's a bit too early, I must admit. Yeah, we're a bit too low there. The puppy lights were right. We didn't even reach the threshold. Look at this. Whoop. Oh, uh, that, that's that's like understood already. That's understood. <laughs> Let's see that from here in action. A bit too low. Okay. Next time we balance it more. But that's that's not too bad. I'll take it. 
There we go. Okay. A few meters off, but I'll take it. Um, and now we taxi properly. I didn't even have to, like, let's read back the transmission, by the way. I didn't even have to idle the engine at all. So maybe that's why I hit the the thing at such a high level. Not too shabby, I'll take it. So guys, welcome to Miami. We made it in one piece. Kind of. Does your butt hurt or something? <laughs> a bit hard landing, a bit firm landing. Oh, look at all those planes. Where are we going though? Okay, let's see. Okay, I think we are on our... What do you call this? Taxi. Final taxiing. And you guys told me, thank you for that info, we didn't really need to immediately bring up our flaps. We can do that once we leave the runway. Once we turn off. So I will do that in a bit, okay? But for now, let's just taxi here. I'm just balancing things with my rudder. With my uh, joystick right now. Steering just a bit to the right because the this plane is really kicking to the left in these high speeds. Okay. Now I brake. That was not too bad, huh? That was not too bad. Although still not center, but we're learning. We're learning bit by bit. And then here as well, break. And then follow that. Contact ground on one two one point eight zero. Here we are. Okay, one two one point eight. Okay. Contact ground on one two one point eight zero. Our final leg here. Check in with the controller. I think that's basically it. We, we, we just go to the end of this, uh, wherever this guy is telling us to go to, and then that will be the end of the flight. I think it's the first time we're really going to finish something from end to end. So <laughs> let's be happy about that. I did uh, plot the wrong route though, the wrong approach. That's fine. It's a work in progress, guys. At least we have our propeller intact, right? <laughs> Not like the uh, previous flight. Okay, slow down. And then... Turn left. Just a bit. Here we are. Oh, that's a very nice plane. So guys, if I'm going to learn a new plane, what do you suggest? What would you suggest I uh, learn next? What is the next level of progression? What is this? Why are we going through the grass? I think I have to follow this road instead. Yeah, that right uh, line there. That's a very nice plane. Can we handle that? What is the next level of progression after the Cessna 172? Do we go for the glass cockpit, which is mostly the same except for a different interface? Or do we go for... Um, where do we go by the way? Wait, wait one sec. Let me try and park somewhere like these guys. So maybe over here. Can we reverse? No. We cannot reverse but we can tow. So I think we just do a U-turn here kind of. Face the building like this. That should be good enough I think. Yes. Parking brake. There we go. And now let's turn off avionics. That's a, an important thing. Turn it off before you turn off the engine. Otherwise, it can cause like voltage problems. Turn off everything except the beacon. Turn off the. Actually, I forgot to uh, bring my flaps up, but there you go. And the. 
turn off the fuel input there you go throttle zero beacon off turn off the alternator in the battery switch that to off good and we let us deliver the job finish flight success let's see how much we earned there in fs economy so if i go to fs economy I refresh this thing, no flight currently, but if you look at the logs, there we go, we earned 1,267 there. And if you look at the details, we only paid 64 bucks for the rental of the plane, that's quite cheap, isn't it? Fuel, we only spent 18 bucks, ground crew fee, 150. So from 1.5 total income, we earned 1, 2, 6, 7. Good, I'll take it. 25 nautical miles and one more update i did remove the the uh, economy part for the maintenance report the economy here i disabled it because it was bugging out when i was practicing to land and it was causing mayhem so i turned it off in the meantime anyway we have an economy system already in fs economy i think this is just duplicate having an economy system here as well so i turned that off but uh, everything else is intact. I think we can do the walk around now for post flight. Right? Pito tube cover. Toggle the tie down. Yes. Toggle the chocks. Toggle the cover. Tie down on this side as well and chocks on that side. And we are good to go. Job well done. Landing not too shabby. Um. Is there something like landing speed enable log? Oh, I didn't enable it before. Dang it. I wanted to see the my like history of landing. <laughs> Recently, I haven't had a nice landing. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you like this one. So give me suggestions what airplane to learn next. It won't be immediate, but uh, we'll be flying with this still. But we can go with the G1000, the glass cockpit in the meantime. High-tech GPS but still mostly the same plane. We'll probably do that next episode, we'll see. And if you want to go somewhere specific, let me know, I'll try to accommodate. But yes, thank you for watching, have a nice day. Let me know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button, thumbs up button if you did enjoy this one. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day. Catch you in the next episode. Clumsy flying and bye-bye.